Disney Dreamlight Valley has now launched into early access across console and PC platforms and is promising to provide an ongoing life sim game in the vein of Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley. As a self-confessed Disney nerd with over 300 hours invested in Stardew Valley, I've jumped into Disney's take on the genre to bring you my first impressions of this whole new world. Upon booting up Dreamlight Valley, we're greeted by a simple yet effective character creator. While not revolutionary in design or extensive in options, within a few short minutes I was able to create a digital version of myself that wouldn't be out of place milling around in the background of a scene from Inside Out or Big Hero 6. I would have liked a few more hairstyles to choose from and some slider options to adjust things like player height would have been very welcome, especially when the default height means you tower over your initial guide, Sword in the Stone's wizard, Merlin. Merlin plays a similar part to his role in Kingdom Hearts, guiding the player and teaching us about magic, as well as filling us in on what's going on. Dreamlight Valley sees our avatar journey into a realm populated by some of the most well-known animated characters of all time. Within the valley, heroes and villains alike have lived side by side in harmony until an event known as the Forgetting occurred and, well, made everyone forget everything. In addition to the widespread amnesia, putrid purple nightthorns have sprung up all over the place, making the village less than inviting. Of course, we're here to help everyone by restoring their memories, bringing the masses back to the valley, clearing nightthorns, and returning the neighborhood to its previous glory. Collecting enchanted tools such as a fishing rod that never snags, a watering can that never needs refilling, and a magical pickaxe capable of smashing boulders, along with a shovel that Merlin stresses is just a shovel, we can start making Dreamlight Valley beautiful again. What separates Dreamlight Valley from its Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley contemporaries is the time it takes to complete basic jobs and the restrictions and rewards of performing actions. Growing crops just takes a few minutes, clearing debris and thorns often provide small rewards such as star coins or useful items, and energy is rapidly and generously replenished by visiting your homestead or by eating food items. This approach to minimal punishments for performing actions means that you're able to play for longer without interruption to the gameplay. While you might not be able to swing a pickaxe with zero energy, at least movement speed is unaffected, allowing you to jog back home to recover your stamina easily. As you explore Dreamlight Valley, you'll meet plenty of familiar faces from the history of Disney. Within the first couple of hours alone, you'll be taking investment advice from Scrooge McDuck, trying your hand at fishing with Goofy, and cooking with Mickey Mouse. Each iconic character acts as a quest giver and is a potential friend. It's a shame that the voice lines are limited to a few choice sound bites per character, rather than having everyone fully voiced, but talking to each character daily, along with completing their quests, builds friendship levels and unlocks cosmetics, including motifs, furniture, and clothing items to adorn your home and avatar with, respectively. These unlockable items are a love letter to Disney fans, and I was in full Disney geek mode when I unlocked the power of superhero costumes from The Incredibles, and was grinning to infinity and beyond when I acquired my own Lightyear spacesuit that I proudly displayed in my cozy home. So what if I don't have a toilet? I have a Space Ranger suit! The world of Dreamlight Valley is pretty large with multiple biomes to unlock and characters to meet from the get-go, but there's huge potential for the game to grow as it proceeds through early access and beyond. Developer Gameloft has already confirmed that new content will be released as part of free updates and will include new narrative content, new Disney Pixar realms to explore, and more characters to interact with. The first two early access updates will feature substantial content that focuses on The Lion King and Toy Story, and these just happen to be two of my favourite films, so thanks Gameloft. And that right there is why Disney Dreamlight Valley could be the next gaming phenomenon to sweep the globe. Disney's roster of characters is huge and also includes major entertainment properties like Star Wars and Marvel. If early access proves successful, then there's no telling how many beloved characters could move into our idyllic little island. The gameplay is relatively simple at this early stage, but it's so instantly rewarding and charming that it's impossible to not recommend Disney Dreamlight Valley to anyone looking for a nice cozy game. With that being said, ultimately your enjoyment of Disney Dreamlight Valley will hinge on how much of a Disney fan you are. While I'm a lifelong Disney fanatic, James and Holly aren't. I'm already hooked on the promise of a magical life in Dreamlight Valley, while the other two thirds of JHT aren't bothered by the prospect of living next door to Mickey Mouse and are already questioning my sanity when I say I'm too busy to hang out as I'm going fishing with Goofy. And those are my first impressions of Disney Dreamlight Valley. Will you be diving into this magical life sim world of Disney? Let us know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to be the first to see more great gaming content from JHT. For more gaming videos from us, please check out our side-by-side -side comparison video for The Last of Us Remastered vs The Last of Us Part 1, or our Co-op Chaos series featuring TMNT and Cuphead. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.